It ain't no game, but they say I'm welcome to the second level. What's up, guys? Welcome back to episode three of the official Level 2 podcast. Today, you can see we have a third person. We have a special guest here. Uh, I'm Keegan. You got Tom. And you got Cody from the Dream Saga. I like to take your mouth that with me. How you yeah. doing, Cody? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. It's a little wet and rainy today, so there's that. Yeah, I'm excited. It's the perfect weather for some voting. It is. It's okay. actually election day today. It is, yeah. So when we're recording this, it, I was going to say April 8th. Wow, November 8th. <laughs> Yeah. I'm I'm out of it right now. Don't worry about me. Keegan's on a lot of drugs yeah. for things. Not like recreationally. No. Well, maybe. But maybe. mostly not recreationally. Yes. So he's going to be a little kooky for the entirety of yeah. this podcast. Enjoy. So, with that being said, let's start off like we normally do. Uh... What, what, we'll start with you since you're our guest. Oh, you know, that's crazy. Uh, what are you up to? What have you been doing the last week or so? Playing <laughs> what games? are you up to? I'm uh, on your podcast, <laughs> Keegan. What, are you, what do you mean? I'm recording a podcast with you. Keegan, all I've done is just watch all your videos. Oh. At uh, level2gamers.com. Level2gamers.com. Shameless plug. Um, Listen to us on Level 2 Gaming Podcast on iTunes and Google Play. He's a polite liar. <laughs> He's a polite liar, <laughs> yes. Um, the I've been playing a lot of... Uh, Fallout 4. Still? Mm-hmm. Do you yes. have the DLC? Yes, I have the DLC. All, all the DLCs? Or? I haven't gotten the latest one. Okay, because Contraptions uh, looks real cool, but that's the one that like, yeah. I'm excited about. Like, uh, Nuka World I have not gotten. Um, that, look, that actually looks pretty cool. But it is... Well, and the thing is, I don't ever go through the, the main story that much. Mm-hmm. I literally just explore. Like, I just find the little things in that world and just kind of go for it. So. That's one of the nice things about yes. those games is that you don't have to pay any attention to yeah, the story. Yeah, I think I made it to like I made it to where I, had, I figured out enough that was going on, mm-hmm. but I didn't get to the point where I actually... You just got bored. Story. Yeah. You just, yeah, you I played for like 20 something hours. I, I got pretty far in the story with that and then I just kind of I don't know what it was. Like I, I think something else came out. I think it was... Um, I don't know what it was, but something came out. I, and it you took know, I my, got bored of building buildings. Essentially, is what happened. Like, well, you played it like Minecraft. Yeah, yeah that's fun. that's the best part for that. For you me, like because I like scavenging and I like taking it all back. What um, do you think of contraptions then? Because that's added on. I have me. I have yet to even play that side. Because yeah. um, it looks but a lot of fun. I have Sanctuary Hills is the main base for my main character, mm-hmm. and I built my base up a ladder. And so if, if people start showing up, I just delete the ladder and, or delete the <laughs> stairs and they can't get to my people. So everyone goes up top mm-hmm. and there's just like a bunch of defenses and How stuff. How cool would it be to have like an MMO Fallout 4, like PVP, <sighs> like base building stuff? Oh, or even even if it's not Fallout 4, even if it's just a base building game. I mean, like they've that, proven they can like, do it with Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah. Just tweak the... I mean, essentially, Elder Scrolls and Fallout are the same Same game. thing. It's just different They're, skins on So them. yeah, absolutely. Yep. I would kill you immediately. Yeah. yeah, probably. That's I most people's people. reaction. <laughs> so let's also you you do the Dream Saga. You yep. do daily vlogs. You started that recently, and I like you those. Do, yeah, and you yeah. do uh, food videos. Uh, yeah, and I do uh, unboxings. Candy Tuesdays and Unbox Fridays. Yes. Um, candy Tuesday just started up. Um, a lot of the candy that I ordered online is starting to show up. These are candies from other countries, not necessarily American candies. Right. Which is where um, we live, by the way. Yeah. So <laughs> we have um, my good friend Tora, which you guys mm-hmm. know from work. Um, he. He speaks and reads Japanese, and so a lot of the Japanese candies and stuff we're doing, he's actually going to be adding uh, Japanese subtitles, awesome. so that way, you know, when they broadcast over there, they can, you know, actually understand our reactions to so how some does, of these wait, candies. So how does typing Japanese on keyboard work? I've never actually tried to type, because I can do, like, the accents for, like, French, but... Does it, is it a software thing that he's doing then when he types it? How does that work? Um, I, you know? Yeah, I assume he's doing everything, I think, mainly through his does he have uh, his phone. Oh. And so he... He just does could, the Japanese keyboard? Yep. And just yeah, I think the somewhere. Japanese keyboard allows you to write in kanji yeah. and things like See, that. See, I'm thinking on like a computer that has a has a normal well, setup. Like You can also put QWERTY. a skin over a keyboard. Yeah, that's true. Because yep. they're all the same layout. But. Yeah. yeah, it's just like if you were to order a computer with a Japanese keyboard, mm-hmm. um, you can then also just... Because the thankfully, I think there's only a couple versions versions, at least of, like, MacBooks, that have a different keyboard layout mm-hmm. um, for certain things like that. So, typically, it's just a universal, like, skin, like Tom was saying, that you can just pop down and click on it. Because yeah. there's a lot of people that I know that buy stickers mm-hmm. that have both languages on them, so they know exactly what Because I used to do, I used to, uh, Final Cut, I used to put, I now have a separate keyboard for it, but I used to put, like, a film over top of it that told me there's a keyboard shortcut, so it's similar. I guess similar concept. It was colorful. I remember that keyboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have it. It's uh, pretty. I might pull it out at some point. Mm-hmm. You know? 
and show you. Settle down. But uh, so vlogs every day. Yep, and vlogs then every Tuesdays day. Tuesdays and Fridays are your. And the your vlogs are not just you either. Are they? They're it's you she, and your your, your lovely My lady friends. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's she is um, gracefully accepted uh, the existence <laughs> yeah. of YouTube, and How, just goes along. The with real it. question is: her idea or your idea? Like, did did you have to begrudgingly be like, "We're gonna do this," or she's like, "Yeah, let's do this." Um, I so many many moons ago before the Dream Saga, we actually did vlogs. Mm -hmm. um, um, and she was always stoked about it. I think I have on my old channel that I don't eat really use anymore, just there for um, archives. Posterity. Posterity. It was like maybe five or six years ago I started the vlogs on her birthday. Um, so I have those like, hey, this, you know, we went out mm -hmm. to the birthday and this is, you know, our way of spending time with our family who are nowhere near us. Mm -hmm. So like her mom, grandparents, my dad, all so it's can more like, like a video email. Yeah, they can, can right. see what's doing. going on. Yeah. yeah, so it's kind of our our little day to day. They can kind of see what's going on. I can share my life with other people. Um, do you feel pressure to do cool things every day then? Because that's the part with daily vlogging. I've tried. And I'm like, I'm not. I don't have a cool enough life. I sit on my butt and edit videos. Yeah, and that's the thing. It, it's getting me out of my shell. Um, you know, I don't like vlogging in public. It's but, really weird. But the more I do it, the easier things get. Where I just walked into PetSmart mm -hmm. the other day, and people were staring at me. I'm just like, nah, whatever. whatever. Yeah, it's like people walking in their cars or something like that, or walking through a mall. It's people are going to stare. Yeah. But the thing is, we've gotten so used to watching people FaceTime, that and is. so no one really looks anymore yeah. right. or well, cares. Well, even when I went to uh, Wizard World and did the vlog for that, like you're at a convention and people know you're getting footage and all that kind of stuff, but it's still weird walking around and having that you know people are looking at you because yeah. you're staring at your phone even I see people doing it more and more though like I, around the mall and stuff oh, yeah. like that even where we work you know I see ladies with their phones out and they're like talking away and it's not FaceTime they're not yeah. actually like they're either Facebook live or whatever yeah. and we were in um, it's just weird we were in uh, Del Mar the other day me and my wife we were in an art place art store in mm -hmm. there and there was a lady walking around doing facebook live with all the like sculptures and stuff in I store it's kind of weird. Today at some point yep and my I, phone uh, was like cody's live i was like hey cody yeah i we were <laughs> um, it's not because i was hanging with grandma but yeah we we were waiting in the parking lot of cvs waiting for like medication to, to go up and so i was just like live put my phone on my dash and as the, it was raining so i was like we're not gonna make any noise we're just gonna let that roll and do something artsy Artsy know. farty. So you tried to does. make a small indie film in yeah. the CVS parking, in the CVS parking, yeah. parking lot. <laughs> With just, we'll just, just turn the solitary and... leaf flicking around in the wind. Yeah, it was just <laughs> lots of rain drips. It was really nice. nice. There you go. What about you, Tom? What have you been up to this past week? Well, I got sick before you guys came over because yeah, I'm an you, idiot. You played, a, you played a VR game. I did. I played a did VR you, game. Did you physically get sick or did you just nauseous? No, very close to it. I had okay. to take the helmet off. It was like, if I don't take it off, I'm going to blow okay. chunks right Which now. Which I've done once already. Yeah. It, um, so I, I, I'm still playing XCOM 2. I can't stop playing it. Mm -hmm. It's so fucking hard. And uh, so I still play that religiously. But then I got uh, in the mail today Robinson uh, Journey, The Journey. Which is, which is basically Jurassic Park in VR. I wouldn't go so far to say story wise it's like no, that but, but, but it is dinosaurs you, in you, VR if you're yes. thinking of like what it is to somebody who doesn't know yeah I feel it's like kind it's of like a sci-fi version of Jurassic yeah. Park and um it is pretty, like the environments are great and everything, but the handling of the controls has been done awfully. The control schemes are bad. So, yeah. So, as far as like your usual options of like strafing and turning and things like that, they uh, the strafing is horribly slow. Even walking is painfully slow. Um, and the turning is painfully fast. So, you have this kind so of like, you're not jerky. quite there. Yeah. So, it's not quite balanced tight enough for it to feel like a comfortable thing. Is it so. something that you think they could fix in a patch, though? I would hope so, because otherwise, I'm not going to be able to play it because I I tried for I would play I was playing for maybe like Jesus 20 minutes half mm -hmm. an hour it's as, as far as I could take it and then mm -hmm. I had to turn it off and um that upset me because I've been looking forward to that one and it's it's kind of one of the f not first but one of the newer sort of touted triple A style Foot, like a, a quote unquote full game full length yeah for VR and luckily I picked it up uh, pre order from Amazon for thirty two dollars um, as opposed to what it's what what I saw it retailing at in the PSN store which was sixty Ooh. so yeah. Yeah. yeah Amazon had a he texted me that day he's like Amazon got a typo you might want to order this and yeah they like, fucked it up I think I'm pretty sure they fucked it up they've done that before apparently yeah. so I keep an eye on Amazon now because they're bad at if I pre order that's where I buy it from just because I have Prime right. and you get the discount. 
know, so it makes sense. Yeah. Because we're getting digital. And then but it was, uh, yeah, it sucked. Because um, I was looking forward to that. And I've had a great time with VR lately. It's the first, I will say, bad experience of VR that I've had. Mm-hmm. And it was just before this podcast, so it makes me a little sad. Yeah. And also, um, it is, as we mentioned earlier, election day today. Mm-hmm. And I can't vote because I'm not, not American. From, not from America. <laughs> so that makes me a little sad. Wait, too. you're not from America? I'm not American. He's I'm, not American. I'm in America. He's in America. I'm not from America. Yeah, he's he's from he's from the company. Com- well, My com- country company. didn't even get to choose their prime minister, so it's <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not too mad about it. But me and my wife have decided that tonight, uh, once our podcast is over, we're gonna and she gets home, we're gonna go for a meal, which we're gonna consider to be our last meal on earth, and then we're going to sit and watch the world burn. Cool. Uh, with CNN on TV. So. Yay! Can't wait go. to watch the f- uh, season finale of America. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. So that's that's it. Um, TV wise, anything like that. Um, pretty much most of the same stuff I've been doing. We uh, we just finished the night off that one we talked about last week. Mm-hmm. Great, the weird recommend one. it. You should watch it. Yeah, very very good. Um, and we've been trying to find a new show. We tried Dead of Summer. It was terrible. Don't recommend it. <laughs> don't watch um, it. Don't watch <laughs> it. Uh, and that's where I'm at. That's it. So yep. for me, yeah, for me, I've been doing. So as I said at the end of the last podcast, my grandma had an accident and is in the hospital. She's not. But in the she's hospital doing anymore. better, right? Uh, yeah, she's actually leaving rehab tomorrow. She signed the papers today to leave tomorrow. Uh, I actually, this is the only thing we're recording today because I had to go see her this morning. My dad came in this morning, hanging out with him, which is kind of cool. Uh, he flew from New Zealand to New York, New York to St. Louis. He he skipped going to Japan and South Africa to come see her, which is kind of cool. Um, his so his fun. his dad's kind of a big deal. My dad's not a big deal. He's a big deal. No, he just travels. All they over. roll out the red carpet. Right they do. Right, just he has over three hundred thousand frequent flyer miles. Right now. Yeah, Jesus. You need a hundred thousand to be like the executive executive platinum whatever. That's, wanna, that's, that's, you, in, that's in twelve months by does, the way. Does he want to buy me a plane ticket somewhere? Well, I told you he's he talked about buying me a plane ticket to Florida for Thanksgiving, like just to fly down to think on on Thanksgiving Day. And mm. I was like, I appreciate it, but I'm it's a lot I'm, of work for one day. Yeah, I'm gonna go hang. I, w- I would be pissed if I had to fly anywhere for one day. Yeah, I'm going to have Grandma instead, so we're going to have Thanksgiving it, together. Especially if your flight is longer than a day to get there. Yeah, like I, like, I would maybe um, fly to Chicago for yeah. a day, because Chicago from us is like, by the time you you stopped your ascent, you're descending. But, I, yeah, I couldn't... Um, yeah. Yeah. Did you so, hear my chair? Yeah, I was like, what yeah. was that, Tom? <laughs> my <laughs> chair broke, because uh, A, I'm fat, and B... I'm really uncomfortable, <laughs> um, but I just noticed before we started recording that my chair's chair broke. broke. I'll, I'll share a picture on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, here's the link to Instagram right here. Yeah. yeah. So the other thing, gaming wise, uh, what I've been doing is the division had the big patch update 1.4. I think You're big was, into that right now. I'm big into that. Um, I played yesterday with Tegrado, who it's been a while since I played with him. Um, Tegrado, the uh, the patron that gave us our question on yes. last week's podcast. Yes. So I played with him on there. He kind of him and David both were like, "This is stupid." because they changed a lot of my gear sets like it it they were mad at first but then they realized how how much better it's gotten so you're like cool have you played because i know you played have you you've yeah. pl- you played with me yeah we we played we the played other night with uh, Ian. yep we i god that was like i hadn't really played a whole lot and i wasn't really into it not as much as like you and ian and those no, guys me, were me and ian are just that's and our game I, when i jumped in like my score my gear level all that dropped and i was like nah. and then by the like a couple hours into it everything was maxed out and yeah. i was like Cool. This is way better. Yeah. I immediately like. Did this. you do you see the rumor that the survival update's coming out next? So basically, when this podcast's going up, the rumors when the survival is going to come out. Really? So they're going to raise your gear score to two fifty six, which means there's new gear sets and stuff like that, which is cool. But it also means I'm grinding right now until those come out and get higher gear. I scores. still, I, I don't think I can get I love back that into game. it. I just, I liked it for a while. I had a lot of fun, especially with you guys playing. It was a lot of fun with friends. Um, but I am not a social gamer as much as you are, as you mm-hmm. know. So for me, the single player experience is always more fun. And, it, and the, the game not doesn't do single player really. really well. a single player in there. Yeah, yeah it's kind of yeah. So. You could you could do like the main story, but once you hit once you hit end game, like I feel like you need friends. I mean, as far as high the multiplayer works i would much prefer a multiplayer game in the style of the division than to let's say like call of duty or something yeah. where it's just like match based i i prefer the open world nature to it and being able to go to like a pvp area same mm-hmm. with elder scrolls yeah but um yeah it just doesn't doesn't help my interest and then tv wise for me i've been watching the loud house which is actually 
a, I texted you. I was like, hey, do you have the Loud House? You're like, no. I like, <laughs> found it. I, I was watching it on iTunes. Um, it's a, For those of you who don't know, I'm a big cartoon fan. And Nickelodeon cartoons back in the day, Rocket Power, uh, Rocko's Modern Life, all Rocket those were Power. my jam. So now, like, Loud House is kind of that together. The way it, it came about, and I'm debating on whether I want to do a review on it, but basically it won a shorts competition. And they signed it on to be part of Nickelodeon's, like, sh- they had a shorts thing during the summer two years ago. And then they signed it on for fir- one full season, so 13 episodes. Now it's up to, I think, 26 episodes confirmed. And it is really well done. The story is there's this one little kid that lives with his 10 sisters. And their last name's Loud, thus the Loud House. And kind of the life that he has to live with having all sisters, whether it's them being super, like, gentled with him. Like, oh, you gotta, you scratched your face. Oh, I'm sorry. Or, like, the last episode I watched was him talking about hanging out with a girl. And they're all like, ooh. It sounds like one of those weird animes. It kind of is, but it's, Western, it's a westernized cartoon. I don't, as you know, I don't the like the story. Games. The plot line in sense very anime. Well, it's different. It's different yeah. to each episode, but yeah, right. I, I, I just love the the art style is a traditional art style where everything is just a single line. It's not cel shaded, not sort of like digital. Digi- like the new Starbucks really cool. cup. You seen that? No. The Starbucks. Christmas cup for Star- Starbucks has a single line. Holiday cup. Holiday Sorry. Cup. No, no, it's not even the holiday oh. cup. No, no, no. It's, oh, it's, it's pre-holiday cup, isn't yeah, it's, it? Yeah, they just, they released just the, the cup. They released a green cup to show that everybody was interconnected. And every, it was one And someone line. already found, like, one dude that's, like, not connected to the rest of it. Yeah. So they're like, and you're liars! Star- Starbucks. Uh, there was a Starbucks employee that leaked the actual holiday cup, oh. which is a red cup with, like, silver <laughs> trees and... And Satan. <laughs> Satan. Yeah, Satan. <laughs> it's, so uh, Satan. It's called Satan's bunghole. Yeah. Whoa. But yeah, I've been watching Loud House. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, a lot of fun. If you're into cartoons, I highly recommend it. As if you're a I, child. Well, if you're a man-child. We decided that I'm Mowgli. Like, I'm a man-child. <laughs> spit out your drink. I'm a man-child. We decided this the other day that... Mm. you want, I, I'm well aware. Names. Hang out with Blue. I've known you long enough. So, but yeah, that's what I've been watching. Um, okay, cool. And doing this week, so...